Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued Edict 37 and 38 and 39 of 2018. Edict 37 stipulated the issuance of school's overall performance general audit frame, effective from February 2019. It also stipulated the rescinding of the uniform school's overall performance audit frame issued by Edict 36 of 2015, effective from the next day after its issuance to be published in the official Gazette. Edict 38 stipulated the issuance of the Frame of Educational and Vocational Training Institutions Overall Performance Audit, effective from February 2019, and rescinding the Frame of Educational and Vocational Training Institutions Overall Performance Audit issued by Edict 33 of 2015, effective on the day next to the date of its publication in the official Gazette. Edict 39 stipulated the approval of the 2018 Annual Report of Bahrain Quality Assurance Authority for Education and Training, BQA, to be published as per BQA's issuance in stages of national exams and audit reports, issued by Decree 49 of 2009, effective from the next day after publication in the official Gazette. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Ghadibiya Palace today the Ambassador of the United Arab Emirates to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The Ambassador presented His Royal Highness the Prime Minister an invitation to attend the UAE National Day Ceremony, which will be held at the UAE Embassy. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the close historic relations between the two countries, noting the growing cooperation and coordination between them to serve their people. He also hailed the development of relations in all fields in light of the support given by the two countries' leaderships. His Royal Highness praised the progress of the UAE, which started in the era of the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan and continues today under the leadership of the President of the UAE, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan and His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. With the support of the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed the Kingdom's appreciation of the UAE brotherly stances which reflect the strong relations between the two countries. For his part, the Ambassador of the UAE valued His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's contributions to the development of bilateral relations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa patronized today the 2018 Youth Summit, which is one of the national program's initiatives to enhance the youth and sports sector, Istijaba, in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and senior officials. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince pointed out that the summit is an opportunity to coordinate between the initiatives, programs and efforts regarding youth and sports, as well as setting a strategy to qualify the youth and prepare them to cope with a constantly developing technology and encouraging them to innovate to achieve further progress in the kingdom. 
His Royal Highness affirmed that investing in the youth is one of the kingdom's main strategies under the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He pointed out that the youth are the kingdom's future. He praised the achievements of the national caters in all fields on the regional and international levels. He added that this summit affirms that continuous support towers the youth sector to achieve the kingdom's aspirations and push the kingdom's march forward. He praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser in developing the youth and sports sector and highlighted the accomplishments and achieved, which are achieved by this sector through many programs and initiatives. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of encouraging the youth to pursue all fields in order for them to gain knowledge and experience to make further accomplishments for the kingdom. During the ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Nasser delivered a speech. A documentary was screened highlighting the main goals of Istijaba program launched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to continue the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and an implementation of the visions of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Four discussion sessions were held during the summit. The session addressed the future infrastructure, sports and entrepreneurship. على مشاركة الشباب وعلى تطوير ذاتهم وتمكينهم أيضا وفي الأيام السابقة يشرفني كمسؤول عن الشباب أيضا أن نبارك لمملكة البحرين نجاح مسيرتها الديمقراطية ومشاركة عدد كبير من الشباب والشابات في الترشح والتصويت وهذا دليل كبير على نمو ونضج شباب وشاباتنا في مملكة البحرين وعلى حرصهم وحبهم لقيادتهم وبلدهم سيدي 
احنا اطلقنا استجابة والعنوان يتحدث عن نفسه استجابة لكم واستجابة لمبادرات الحكومة واستجابة لرغبات الناس وهناك أسس كثيرة وضعناها على أساس أن احنا نوصل للصورة المطلوبة طبعا احنا نقتبس دائما سيدي من كلامكم واليوم بعد أيضا عرضوه وانتم ذكرتوا أن لخلق هذه البيئة التنافسية المنفتحة العادلة إذا وصلنا وخلقنا هذه البيئة طبعا راح نوصل وكل راح يأخذ حقه وأيضا لا ننسى طويل العمر رأيتكم ونظرتكم إلى عام 2030 احنا رسمنا هذا الطريق ثم ألهمت دول كثيرة منها دول في الجوار ومنها دول أخرى أن شافوا المقياس 2030 هو الرقم الصحيح والواقعي أن احنا نحط هدفنا ونوصل له لكن بعد التذكير ينفع المؤمنين بعد شهر راح نقول باقي لنا 11 سنة فقط ل 2030 فالعمر يمشي الوقت يمشي ولكن لله الحمد نحن اليوم في خطة ثابتة وفي سرعة معقولة وسرعة واقعية لكن لا ننسى دائما أن الهدف هو تحقيق هذه الرؤية وأن نرى البحرين الجديدة تنمو وتنافس دول العالم احنا طول العمر في 11 ابريل السابق وقفنا هذه الوقفه وفي نفس القاعه وشرحت للشابات والشباب عن رؤيتي لبرنامج استجابه وقلت لهم اللي انا في خاطري قلت لهم طموحي للشباب والشابات قلت لهم طموحي كيف اني اريد اشوف مملكه البحرين قلت لهم كيف ابغى اسلم هذا الكرسي للمسؤول القادم عن الشباب والرياضه انه هو كيف يستلم هذه المسؤوليه ويباشر ما تكون فقط على جهد شخصي احنا استلهمنا هذا الجهد منكم ايضا سيدي هي فريق البحرين اللي خلت كل مسؤول اليوم يقف امام فريقه ويصور ويقول هذا هو فريق البحرين لان فعلا فريق البحرين هو مبني على هذه المبادئ ككل وما في شك ان احنا عندنا مجالات طويله وكثيره ان احنا نقدر ايضا نطور ونلمع ونوصل ان شاء الله لاهدافنا المرجوه. طبعا طول العمر انا ما بيطيل عليكم في الكلام ولكن عندي امور كثيره لو تخلوني اليوم الى اخر اليوم اقدر اواصل لان طال عمرك تعرفون حبي وشغفي في هذا المجال وتعرفون طال عمرك وش كثر احنا نقدر نتوسع الى اخر الحدود واخر طموحاتنا. بس في اشياء بعد ايضا طول العمر احنا نتعلم منها. سيدي جاءت الملك الله يطول عمره علمنا سر الفوز والنجاح علمنا سواء كان بطريقة مباشرة أو طريقة غير مباشرة وأنا من حسن حظي حصلت الطريقة المباشرة ربيت من الصغر أشوف جلالة الملك وأتعلم منه ويشوفني أفوز ويشوفني أخسر لكن ما يغير في مبدأه أي شيء دائما يدفعني أني أنا أروح للأفضل واليوم كثير من اللي تعلموا بهالطريقه المباشره من وزراء ومسؤولين يقابلون جلاله الملك ويشوفونه ويوجههم وايضا من الناس اللي استلهموا من كلمات جلاله الملك وبرامجه وتطلعاته للبلد. الكل استفاد طول العمر. هناك طول العمر جلاله الملك علمنا مبادئ كثيره. والحقيقه هي سر الفوز والنجاح، انا بتكلم عني شخصيا. انا طول العمر عندي مؤسسات كلفتوني وشرفتوني اني انا اكون مسؤول عنها وقود هذه المؤسسات. وايضا تشرفت اني انا احمل علم مملكه البحرين شخصيا واحقق اعلى الالقاب في المستوى التنافس الرياضي. هذه ما جات من فراغ. هذه ما جات من قدرات اخرى. هذه جات من استلهام والتعلم من جاره الملك. سواء كان نجاح في اداره المؤسسات او سواء كانت النجاح في الذات الشخصي. هناك مبادئ علمنا اياها جاره الملك. علمنا الله يطول عمره اولا الواحد يبني الروايه الايجابيه. الروايه مهمه تلهمك تلهم الشخص الاخر وتلمع الصوره وتوضح الصوره ومسعاك. فكان دائما يعلمنا لا تسوي شيء بدون اي قصد. يبقى بعدين مثل المثل ذاك الضحك بلا سبب قلة أدب 
فنحن ايضا مسعانا لازم انه يكون له سبب. هذه وحده. الشيء الثاني حب الوطن وحب الناس. احنا شو اللي خلانا اليوم كمستوى شخصي نبذل عرق الجبين ونسافر ونتقرب سواء كان في الدراسه او الدورات او التحديات او المسابقات الرياضيه. ترى في نهايه الامر كله عشان رفعت علم مملكه البحرين. في نهاية الأمر عشان أحط روحي كسفير لمملكة البحرين ومثل البحرين خير تمثيل وروح للخارج وخلي غير يقول هذول شباب مملكة البحرين أعطي انطباع آخر عشان لغير بيجي في هذا المكان الخارجي يعرف أن مملكة البحرين هذه نوعيتها هذه خامتها اللي تجينا دائما فحب الوطن يخليك دائما تبدل قصاري جهدك أنا في أماكن وفي أما يعني في في أوضاع كثيرة وصلت لمرحلة يعني بغيت حتى إني أستسلم في كثير من المسابقات الرياضية بس يجي أمامي جلالة الملك يجي أمامي شعب البحرين بشكل كامل تجي أمامي صورة رفعت على مملكة البحرين تعطيني هالاندفاع اللي أنا أحتاجه تعطيني هذه اللمسة طول عمرك شكرا ثم بناء أمل سواء كان امل على اللي يعملون معاك في هذه المؤسسه او بناء امل شخصي. انا الحقيقه اشتغل على هذا المبدا. احط الامل الواقعي وامشي عليه. اخلي اللي معاي واخلي نفسي نشوف الامل امامنا ونشوف النور امامنا ونكون واضحين مع نفسنا ان هذا هو الطريق الصحيح اللي لازم نوصل له. لان كثير من الناس خلني اضرب مثل بسيط جدا. دام احنا في مجال شباب ورياضه. كثير منكم يتمرنون. كثير منكم يحاولون يضعفون او يحاولون يطورون من لياقتهم وكثير منكم يروح الجيم. و 99% منكم ما تواصلون. لان يمكن كثير منكم ما يعرف ليش هو قاعد يتمرن. كثير منكم حط تاريخ معين قال ابي اضعف هالتاريخ المعين. واحد 12 ابي اضعف. زين اثنين اثنين شنو وضعك؟ زين ما وصلت انا في هل يضحك هناك اكيد واحد منهم انت. ف 100% يا شباب اللي يمشي بدون امل بدون حافز وبدون هدف معين يتعب يتعب لانه يصير يمشي في في الخلا يمشي في سراب ما يعرف وين هو رايح. اذا بتكلم عن شخصيا عشان بس اضرب لكم مثل انه ما في شيء مستحيل. انا اخترت لعبه متعبة جدا، وتعرفون عنها انا ما بقص قصة بطولة العالم. بس شو اللي خلاني افوز ببطولة العالم؟ والله اني ما حطيت بطولة العالم كهدف في بالي. بس يوم بديت امارس الرياضة حسيت ان عندي قدرات وقوة في هالمجال. فوضعت هذا الامل. قلت انا اذا اقدر اخلص هذه المسافة ليش ما اقدر افوز ببطولة العالم؟ بس قبل لا احط هذا الامل، خلني اقابل بعض الناس واشوف اذا هم فعلا بشر حقيقيين او لا. واكتشفت انهم بشر حقيقيين فيهم نواقصهم وفيهم ميزهم. اكتشفت انه ما في شيء مستحيل. A documentary was screened highlighting the main goals of Istijaba program launched by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to continue the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and an implementation of the visions of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Four discussion sessions were held during the summit. These sessions addressed the future infrastructure, sports and entrepreneurship. Many officials participated in the sessions and highlighted their ministries and authorities' achievements in supporting youth and sports.
this is an event that we'll talk about tomorrow. If we are working today, this event shows us the path for tomorrow. So we, tomorrow it means that you will have to empower the youth, you will have to listen to the youth, and you'll have to learn from the youth. This is our mantra for the future. We listen to his, uh, of course, to the guidance of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness uh, the, the Crown Prince in this matter, and uh, His Highness Sheikh Nasser. So uh, very clear vision, very clear path for us at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to empower our youth and also to um, put the programs for not only our youth, but the youth of Bahrain. Investing in youth uh, is not a luxury, it's a must. No nation can evolve or any economic development can be achieved without having the right human resources. And the youth are playing the most important role in developing the countries, whether they are in the private sector, creating new companies, entrepreneurs, uh, bringing new ideas and innovation to the industry, or they are working in the uh, public sector, uh, preparing the right uh, business environment, uh, the org uh, organizing uh, the different economic cluster, as well as building the infrastructure for, for the country. So uh, we must invest in our youth. We must motivate them to create new ideas. Yes. Youth is not just age, youth is really the spirit and we have to nurture the spirit and we have to develop it further uh, to alleviate any risks uh, they might face or any discouragement they might incur in their careers and to, to create uh, continuity in our uh, uh, growth and in our economy and to create success stories that inspire future generations to continue based on the success we have achieved so far. Youth uh, is a very important pillar in our uh, society, in our economy, and I think uh, it's very important uh, to support them, especially in sports, uh, entrepreneurship, and uh, with no doubt, this is Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad, vision of how to uh, inspire our youth to achieve the impossible. We are very delighted to hear his Highness uh, Sheikh Nasser's uh, vision for youth and sports and we see Bahrain uh, to progress in this field uh, and uh, we're looking forward to be part of it. Minister of Oil Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa opened today the fourth edition of the SPE Middle East Artificial Lift Conference and Exhibition organized by the World Petroleum Engineers Association in cooperation and coordination with the National Oil and Gas Authority, NOGA, with the support and sponsorship of a number of national and international oil companies. More in this report by Hiba Abdel Ghaffar. With the broad participation of experts, specialists, heads and directors of companies working in the fields of artificial lifting from around the world, the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, opened today the fourth edition of the SPE Middle East Artificial Lift Conference and Exhibition, which is marked by the introduction of the latest innovations and technologies. In his opening statement, the Minister of Oil welcomed holding such global events where several international companies are participating, which supports and enhancing the oil industry in the Middle East region by providing the best achievements done by technologies and industrial solutions in the field of artificial lifting of plants and factories working in the field of oil and gas and other related industries. He also referred to the achievements of Bahrain in this regard through the application of advanced technologies and the latest artificial lifting techniques which contributed positively and constructively to increase the production of the oil well in the field of Bahrain which is one of the oldest oil fields in the GCC region. Important conference, artificial lift is important uh, for mature fields, it helps increase uh, oil production. We use it uh, extensively here in uh, the Bahrain field. Uh, Tatwir is a big consumer of this technology, very important event uh, to really get to know what uh, the latest technology is. We have all the major service companies here, Halliburton, Schlumberger, Baker Hughes and all the others. We have uh, European companies, American companies, Russian companies and of course we'd like to thank all the sponsors, uh, namely Saudi Aramco uh, being the core sponsor of this event and the Society of Petroleum Engineers which promotes the science of petroleum engineering. On the sidelines of the conference, the Minister of Oil inaugurated the accompanying exhibition in which a number of local, regional and international oil companies participated and met with a large number of exhibiting companies where they reviewed the best of the latest technologies. The theme this year is uh, Industry 
4.0, Industrial Revolution 4.0, which is the digital world. And, and the meaning is to really digitize the entire industry. And more specifically, we need to get the, the uh, artificial lift industry digitized to harness uh, the capabilities that will allow us to ultimately draw down and lower the, our production costs because this is the aim of everybody. This uh, forum is really pulling all the minds together to drive the right uh, optimization artificial, artificial lift. Today the industry needs this kind of forum so we can really drive the right optimization, efficiency and production optimization. The establishment of such conferences, exhibitions and specialized events in Bahrain undoubtedly contributes in preparing specialized competencies in the oil and gas sector as well as the economic returns. The fourth edition of the Middle East Artificial Lift Intelligence Conference and Exhibition continues the momentum of the previous three editions and brings together experts to discuss the latest developments, technological advancements, evolving challenges and the successful case history. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffour. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jodar, honored female workers in the ministry yesterday as part of the celebrations of this year's Bahraini Women's Day. Al Jodar congratulated Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, President of the Supreme Council for Women, on the occasion of the upcoming Bahrain Women's Day pointing out that the event comes as a recognition of the great position of Bahraini women and appreciation of their role in the development process. The minister also pledged to provide all forms of support to the women in the sector and continue to enhance their role in all areas of development in the kingdom. I'm glad that we are here today. If it shows anything, it shows the, the care uh, of His Majesty the King to the for women and how they are an important part of the society and uh, in addition the his excellency the minister Hisham al Joder and how he sees that women in his ministry are important uh, an, an, an important part in uh, the ministry yeah and of course things like this and events of this sort gives us a boost and motivate us to do even more and more uh, than we are already doing. Today we are celebrating the woman, Bahraini Women Day. Mainly I'm so proud as a Bahraini. We are, I would like to congratulate every woman on this land, every Bahraini lady on this land, which is giving a lot from her time, from her offer, efforts, and which achieve a lot and a lot for the kingdom itself. We as a staff, we are waiting for this day every year. We are so happy to see the happiness uh, in their eyes for all the staff that we are here rewarding us say thank you for all the achievements that you have done through over the year. Bahrain Center for Strategic International and Energy Studies Dirasat launched today at a grand ceremony Bahrain Human Development Report. The chairman of Dirasat, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the kingdom prioritizes investment in the human element, noting that launching the report comes at a crucial time, coinciding with the 10th anniversary of launching Economic Vision 2030. He added that the report this year focused on sustainable economic growth through evaluating the economic situation. We're very glad to have finally launched the National Human Development Report of Bahrain. We have chosen the theme of sustainable economic development uh, that comes in line with the 10th anniversary of the launch of the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030. Uh, we have uh, prepared the report in collaboration with uh, the United Nations Development Program and we have adopted a UN methodology in preparing this report. We are very glad that we have uh, specialized Bahraini researchers who have contributed to this report and uh, we have seen how uh, this report reflects uh, a number of challenges that we are facing in Bahrain but also it has presented 40 recommendations uh, cross-sectoral uh, in Bahrain and the launch today is uh, only the beginning as we are seeking to organize a number of workshops to discuss these recommendations, to listen to insights of stakeholders in Bahrain and to discuss how to move forward about uh, these recommendations and to discuss next steps um, of, of priority for all stakeholders. This report really presents a, a baseline where Bahrain is today and also proves that all the development policies that Bahrain has 
uh, adopted from the year 2000 and today have provided positive uh, impact for its people and uh, to attract, uh, create jobs and attract investment. The challenge that the report says is that uh, this baseline or this foundation needs to be continued.